guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Tricky Trail, the travel card game. In this game, you're going to be playing not one, not two, but three different things in the deck itself. Now, one is not necessarily a game, but actually French tarot, and another one is actually a deck of playing cards, which will allow you to do what you want with them. Not only that, though, but you're going to be getting the Tricky Trail game in there, which is a game that's similar to Uno in certain ways. And the game is going to be drawing your hand of cards and playing cards that match the card that has been played down on the previous round. And it's going to be matched by the, by the number or by the symbol. There's also a ton of different wild cards to do different effects. Some of them are going to have you answering questions. Other ones are going to have you answering what the state or what the, uh, what the capital or what the country is or what type of flag, uh, what, what country is from which flag and all that kind of stuff as well as you'll have the ability to use other cards like angel cards that can protect you from nasty things and learning different things as you play the game. So that's the basic idea of what it's going to be. Let's go ahead and show you down below what it looks like and all the different things you get in the game and how it kind of functions for each one. So here we have Tricky Trail and pretty much everything that you're going to get in the game and how it's going to function. Now over here is a French tarot card and a deck and as you can see they have all the different requirements here. You probably want to look it up it'll either be in the rule book or online as for how this kind of functions. I have never used a tarot deck before, so I don't know too much about it other than it's a fortune telling uh, mystical type of a thing going on there. A lot of people like it, maybe you will. Over here we have the game Tricky Trail along with, as you can see, they're both um, on this side and this side, they have the different uh, uh, aspects of the cards. First of all, this is a question card for the game Tricky Trail, and it has a plus four, which is the number of cards you're going to draw if you cannot guess the, the seven wonders of the world. And over on this side is going to be a three of clubs, which you can use in a basic playing card deck. These are all the different jokers in the game, and uh, there's also two two or three normal cards, which are these ones over here. Now, normally in the game, you're going to be basically having one card get flipped over, and you're going to try and match the number or the symbol, and you're trying to empty your hand of cards. Whoever can empty their hand of cards first is the winner uh, and and you're going to be doing that by utilizing these cards here so for instance this is a 27 and a star this is a 32 and a flag but they also serve as another purpose too as you can see there is a country and and a, a, a capital over here and this is a country and its flag whenever you run into a card like this somebody plays on you this is a travel qu uh, quote uh, with plus two question mark, then it's going to simplify that there's a question going to be needed to be asked. And you're going to flip over cards from the top of the deck until you get to one of these cards, which is this one right here. You're going to cover up one of the two here, and then you're going to have them guess the opposite. So if you're saying, okay, which one do you want, capital or... Or country, right? They say, oh, let me guess capital. Or it's actually the player's choice, which one you want to do. So that you give them, okay, here's Madagascar. What's the capital? And if they can guess it, they'll give you all the cards that, they would have that you would have given them. If not, then you're going to give them two cards plus the number of cards drawn from the top of the deck. Has that kind of stuff in it. Uh, this is, of course, the flag and the country, uh, the flag and the country, and it's going to be basically hiding the country and having them guess based on the flag. And you get all this other extra information as to in Chad they speak French, Arabic, and uh, they use the franc and so on and so forth. Uh, these are all a bunch of random cards here. This, like, we have this one here, which is a switch, and this one here, which is a skip. Uh, over here is an angel card. This is one that can actually stop nasty cards from being played on you. This makes players draw cards unless you, ha unless they have to, unless they can discard a wild card, which are what these cards are over here. This is a question card that gets plus two whenever they cannot, plus four whenever they can't guess the specific question on the card, and there's quite a few of them in here. And then you got natural disasters, which is a plus two uh, to all, everybody drawing, uh, drawing two cards guaranteed as opposed to having to do some kind of riddle or question. And then these ones are called chain cards. Whenever somebody plays one of them, if you don't have one to play yourself, you draw the number of uh, points that have been added up from people playing these cards here. And that's the idea of the game. You're going to get a hand of cards, and you're going to be utilizing one card per turn, playing them down, and whoever has the most is the winner. We'll talk about it a little bit more, and then I'll show you a turn of play. Let's come up. So how it works is pretty simple. You're going to take the deck of cards, all of them, shuffle them all up, deal out everybody who gets a hand of cards, and then you're going to take one from the top of the deck and place it down. This one here is a 15 of stars, and you're going to then uh, go into your hand and give the next person to go, and you're going to select a card that is either the same... Uh, the same type or the same number. Now, if it's the same, um, if it's the same number, for instance, like 15, and it's not your turn, you can actually play it as though it was your turn. So you're able to kind of steal a turn in that in that aspect, which is kind of interesting, which is different than a game like Uno would be able to let you do. But if not, like this one here is 53, and it shares the same symbol type, you just play that on your turn. Maybe the next person's turn. Whenever it came to your turn, and you didn't have either the number or the symbol. 
like over here, these are the red cards here. They don't match the green, and then of course there's a blue one there. You can play a Joker card, otherwise you're gonna draw. Uh, Joker cards like this one is a travel question. Like I said before, you play it down, no matter what is on uh, on top, and then you're going to draw cards from the top of the deck until you come to one of these um, country slash capitals and or the flag slash country, and then you have to ask the next player what which is which, right? And if they can do that, they're going to not draw, but if they can't, they're going to draw. And uh, eventually, you'll come down to your turn again. You keep playing cards until eventually you can empty your hand of cards. I'll show you a little bit of how turn of play is going to function for the game, and then I'll also talk about uh, what the game is going to be, what's, what it's like when I think about it. So we're ready to play the game. I went ahead and picked up the top card and put it here. Got, everybody has their hand of cards, and this guy is going to go ahead and start. Let's see what he's got to play. Oh, he cannot play these guys because they don't match the number. They don't match the symbol. Neither do these, but this one does. That'll work. It matches the camera. Next player is going to get to go. He's also got this seven over here, which is useful. And then, of course, the next player is going to get to go as well. He's got a 41. That'll work just fine. Now, he doesn't have a 41 or any more of these cameras, so we can actually go ahead and use this one, which will allow it for a reversal. But whatever you play a while, that means anybody can play anything on top of it. So then he can go ahead and change the color. So he can go ahead and change it to green, in which case he's got a whole bunch of green, so he'll play one of these guys over here. But so does he, so he'll also play something. And it would continue going in this way, right? There's other cards that can be played, like this one here, a travel quote. And as I showed you before, you're going to be simply flipping them over. And these ones are all going to go into the hand of the player that loses. I've got this one here. I'm going to hide it. Look Look at this. Which flag is this? If you can get it in the comment section, you're going to win a free promo from me. Can you guess what it is? Oh, there's no way, because I'm going to show you what it is anyway. This is Sengal, okay? And if he was not able to guess that, which is very unlikely that he's going to guess it, he's going to get all these cards along with uh, plus two. So he draws two more cards. And uh, then the next player can continue. And it's basically going to keep going like that until somebody eventually empties their hand of cards. There's quite a few, which I already talked about previously, so I'm not going to get into them again. But you get the idea of how it works, simpler, similar to Uno, along with the fact that you have the tarot cards. And of course, if you want, you can take out the cards and make your own deck of playing cards and play pretty much any game you want in this Tricky Trail travel card game. All right, let's come up and talk about it. So what do I think about the game Tricky Trail? Well, first of all, it's basically three card games that have been done in some similar manner, and, and actually two of them which have been used for a long, long time, but it's converted into a singular game. So the deck of playing cards is super cool, and I noticed that there's even more in this. I'm not sure how many you can get in the uh, campaign, but I think there's like two decks of playing cards, or even maybe even three in this whole entire deck here. So I'm not sure, but you have to look at the campaign as for how that functions itself. The tarot cards are super cool. We were talking about it a little bit on the live stream. We did a live play of this game, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. And it plays very, very similar to Uno, but with unique learning aspects to it, as well as the fact that you're going to be adding a bunch more different types of wild cards and crazy little things. It has a, a interesting aspect. I think it's basically from Africa, which a lot of African countries are going to be learning a lot of stuff. And not only that, but it has the question cards too. Can you name the seven wonders of the world? I certainly couldn't. In fact, it was none of the ones that I was actually thinking of. Did you know that a Table Mountain is one of them? Uh, I wasn't aware of that. In fact, most of this game I wasn't aware of. This is Angolia. I would have never known that. And then, of course, what's the capital of Ethiopia? I have no idea. It's Addis Ababa. Ababa, yes. And I feel like for the most part when I go through this, I didn't know anything, which is kind of frustrating your first time playing the game because... You don't know any of the questions of all the countries. So it's either going to be, A, somebody who really enjoys playing games that want to learn the different types of country flags and all that kind of stuff, um, or somebody who already knows, right? Maybe a geography type major. <laughs> a, bunch, a bunch of people in, in geography class learning types of games like this. But, however, the more I've been playing this game, the more I've actually learned the different types of flags for the different countries, which is pretty cool because you get a sense of playing and having fun like a game like Uno, which basically doesn't teach you much of anything other than making sure that you're playing the the correct suits or the correct numbers on cards, but it also teaches you things on cards that don't actually do much. This is South Sudan and has Kisra and antelope migration that has something to do with it. Uh, you have different amazing places like Dead Vli from Nam 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 Namibia. I, mean, I can't even say the names of them. These. Equatorial Guinea. So all this stuff actually has some interesting things. So you're always like learning while you're playing this game, which is pretty cool. I like that aspect. Now, as far as like thick hobbyists for games concerned, probably not going to be a game for you. Somebody who's more interested in games like Scythe or take that card games, that kind of stuff. It's this is more on the classical side of card games as far as basic 
card, playing cards, as well as the different Terra, and of course the Tricky Trail, which is a similar, similar re-envisionment of Uno with more of a learning curve. Overall, that would probably be the audience for you. I'm kind of like right in the middle of this thing because it's a game I would definitely play if somebody brought it up, especially good for a game that you're using when you're traveling. And it has a lot of cool informational, in, educational inf information on all the different cards and whatnot. Definitely a game I'd like to show with kids, especially if I want to teach them the different countries and the different flags, especially in Africa. Uh, this is one of those games that would be good for that specific type of environment. As for a game I'm going to go sit down probably at my house and play on a tabletop is not very likely, but as far as meeting a new group of stranger if you're playing on a bus or train or a plane this is something that i could see being played on those overall though it's something you'll have to make up your own mind for the game tricky trail uh, travel card games all in one deck of cards check out the description below if it's interesting for you all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer kickstarter card game review if you like this video go check out the rest of our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment and all this help we do greatly appreciate it as well as checking out our friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek two great sites as well as our giveaways on the site do do go ahead and check that out subscribe like comment it all does help we greatly appreciate it don't forget once again to check out tricky trail if it sounds like something that'd be interesting to you all right guys that's all i got for you this time and as always i look forward to seeing you guys on the trail next time